teach kids, uh, but I hope that answers. Yes, sir. Con Congressman Thomas Massey sponsored a bill a couple years ago that was a bill to, to end the U.S. Department of Education. Is, is that bill still out there, or, or would you sponsor the bill to get to end the U.S. Department of Education? It's unconstitutional, so it, it would be part of obeying your oath once again. Um, I did say on the campaign trail that I think that we should abolish the Department of Education. At the very least, at the very least, just remove any mandate, uh, any requirement from the Department of Education on our, our, our states or on our, our schools, teachers. So um, that said, I don't think that will pass. Um, you know, You're not going to co-sponsor the bill if it's uh, out there. I generally don't do things that have no chance of passing. Um, so you, you know, sponsored the bill to call an Article Five convention, and that that really had no chance of passing. Ask me in May. We'll see. We'll see. You I want? You, you still want an Article Five convention? I think it'll pass this year. Uh, but you do, do you still want it? You, you you do want to call an Article Five convention? Yeah, absolutely. I think and that we need budget constraints, and we need uh, a balanced so, budget, and we need term limits. Okay. One question: balancing the budget. That, that, that was a talk earlier. Why not just obey the U.S. Constitution? Let's bring our troops home from unconstitutional wars. Let's close down departments that are illegal, that are unconstitutional. The balanced budget amendment, all it does is it legalizes the unconstitutional spending by adding an amendment that says you, we, we'll spend the money way we want, and, but we're going to balance – it's, it's going to balance the budget. But if, if I'm spending uh, you know, tr trillions of dollars a year and I'm still in debt trillions of dollars a year – it can be said that my balance, my budget is balanced as long as I'm paying my monthly payment. Do, do you not see something wrong with this picture that this think, balanced budget amendment is, is, is being, it's being told to us that it's the solution, but it's really not the solution to our financial problems. I appreciate your perspective. We disagree. Senator DeMint has been working on this for a long time. He's been a mentor and a friend and uh, Senator Massey in Columbia is, is supporting it. I know dozens of people that uh, I, I respect that have been doing this for a lot longer than me, and they're convinced that this is the only way to uh, accomplish this objective. Um, we still want the same thing. It's just a different way of going about getting it, but I appreciate your perspective. Yes, sir. A little bit of a follow-up on, on the balanced budget amendment. If you do, and, and I, I, I tend to agree with this gentleman that if we just follow the Constitution as it's written, we wouldn't have to worry about amending it to balance the budget. But that being said, if we pass the balanced budget amendment, my fear is that your answer or the solution to balancing the budget would be just to raise taxes. Which That's would the, put us further in debt. The proposal has fiscal restraints and the balanced budget. So we so. would cut the spending to balance the budget. That's what we need. That's the method we need to use to balance the budget. I'm actually open to anything to balance the budget. Um, you know, I think that you know, you say, you trying say, to take a absolutist approach. Sure, sure, I do, I do. And Congress's track record is leaning more towards raising taxes than spending. I think so. ultimately what would happen is if we get close to the, the point that a constitutional convention would occur, Congress would actually do its job and figure something out. We'll see. Um,